Welcome back to the Pit Stop Ranch. On this uh, video, we're going to head up north along the coast and check out some pretty sweet cars at uh, doing some time trials. It's uh, focused on uh, early Fords and the um, Ford four-cylinder. Sit back, enjoy, and relax. How are we doing today? We're... Uh at the uh, Santa Margarita Ranch Airport. This is the, uh, I don't even know what to call this. It said fast. This is the San Luis Obispo Timing Association. And they're uh, having a four banger specific race. There, and this is for, I was told Model A and B motors, but I see overhead cam conversions. I've heard that there's a guy here running a, uh, a race only. Why well, I'm at a loss for words right now. I don't know. Look at this cool looking. We're going to do a little... This uh, fire truck. Well, it's not a fire truck. It's a it's a primer Model A, 2829. It's got a fire department logo on it. it says Double A, which would be the um, East Highland Citrus Association. That's where I live. Ford Model A Speed Technology Fast. But anyways, there's a guy running a, um, a, a four banger race motor out here. I'm at, I don't, I got up at like four o'clock this morning. I apologize if my facilities aren't at 100%. Um, what the heck is the name of that motor? It's the same motor that they ran in the Curtis Craft style midgets and on the Indy cars. And I've talked about them before on this channel when we did other events for the vintage racing. What do we have here? Oh, this is a Miller. This is a Miller banger. It's got a Miller overhead conversion. Wow. One did the block, one did the oil pump, and the other did the detail work. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Here 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 it is. Oh, it's got the quick change rear end. It's like a Halibrand. This looks like a vintage Speedster. This was a modern adaptation, or this is a popular adaptation for the Model T's. They would put this little boat tail on the back, as we would say, make it more aerodynamic. Very popular. How you guys doing today? Doing good. How are you doing? Oh, it's just another beautiful day in sunny California. Heck yeah. Another day in paradise. That was uh, originally built to what you see in 1973. Okay. That's the uh, paint from that long ago. Oh, wow. It was built all out of pieces uh, by an aircraft worker in LA. 
I got it from him when he was uh, getting ready to go to heaven. Yeah. What well, motor is it running? It's got the uh, a variation of the four cylinder. Okay. In production cars, uh -huh. 34 was the last year they used the four cylinder engine. Yeah. But for industrial purposes, they continued to make them for almost okay. 20 more years. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So this is what's called a Diamond C engine. A di it yes. came out of the oil fields over in the Central Valley. Okay. I bought the engine at the swap meet at Turlock. Uh -huh. And the, the funny thing is, the guy was telling me how they had put it in a car. Uh -huh. So I assumed it was ready to run. So I went through all the work of putting it in. And it didn't work. The main bearings were only finger tight. Oh. Oil come out everywhere, you know. Plus it made noise. Uh -huh. so. They let you run the model, the, the C in, in the, the race class? When they, they, they don't differentiate between A, B, or C, uh, okay. that alone. But if you modify the engine, then it doesn't matter if it's an A, B, or C. Then you're in the modified class. Okay. And this has an aftermarket uh, windfield head on it and aftermarket carburetor, so it doesn't run in stock class. Oh, so they, oh. It, it's uh, uh, Turing number one, yeah, which is uh, four cylinder. I I just assumed that you could swap out to uh, like as long as you're not like doing an overhead cam conversion or something like that. Right. Or is that a separate class overhead cams? But they do have a class for a strictly stock engine. Oh, or in this case, a slightly modified one, <laughs> as opposed to like in that yellow one. Yeah. Here I'll show you the engine. That well, it's, it's got an exhaust uh, tuned header on it. That's about the only concession. Oh, that's very nice. What carburetor are you running? Well, this is a, a, a Holly Weber conversion that is made for the engine. Okay. So you have to get the special manual. Yeah, you got to get the intake. The, the, the carburetor, it just... It stands out to me. It's not like a Stromberg right. or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, they really make them uh, nice and drivable. That yeah. carburetor. Uh, okay. It's it's a compound. Both of the throttle plates don't open at the same time, uh -huh. so it's like half of a four barrel. Yeah. Well, good luck. Yeah. Stay Hi, safe. Did you look at the throttle? Uh, 2829 Model A with a Diamond C engine, windfield intake, special carburetor. This is a bone stock Model T. It's even got the crank uh, starter on it. This is a very early T. They call it the doctor's uh, cab. If you're interested, there's the info. You can open the door and take the inside picture if you'd like. I'll give you permission. Oh, okay. Or if you want, I'll open it for you. Oh no, it's I. I actually got a pretty good walk into the well, whole. I mean oh, the, oh, you're. Oh. I know the guy real well, and he wouldn't. Oh, okay. I'd let you see the inside. Oh, all right. Let me do it. This is a authentic stock. Yes, this is bone stock. It's still got the crank. It's. This is um. Look at how you got to trip past the handbrake to get in. Uh huh. And this wasn't like a standard when you drive that. The three pedals aren't. Mm -hmm. The normal, the way that you would drive a modern car. This has right. got and the, the strange shifting on the uh, the stick shift. I was telling my grandson. Uh, I grew up in Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. and when I was 16, I used to bike over to this house where these guys worked on Model Ts all the time, mm -hmm. and they had a Model T coupe all stock mm -hmm. with the same kind of wheels for yeah. sale. Mm -hmm. And so I went home for dinner, 
and I couldn't wait to tell my dad about it. And he says, well, you know, they're not a very good car. No, the wood, <laughs> the wood wheels especially. So, anyway, one of these stock was my first car. Roadster pickup just like this. It, uh, came off of a lemon ranch in Goleta. Huh. This one had the uh, East Highland um, sticker on it. Is that, that from Southern California? That's that's that, uh, he grew up in uh, God, what was it, uh, Culver City area? I think. Oh, okay. This is the East Highland Ranch. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, I'm familiar with that area. Is that this one? No, I'm sorry, this isn't the one. There was that the other pickup that had that one on there. Sorry. What was your name, sir? My name is Pat Gary. Pat, Jeremy. Jeremy? Yeah. Hmm. It's a pleasure to meet this you. This is my uh, grandson, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Kyle. It's a pleasure to meet pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. So where did you call home most of the time? Oh, I was born in uh, Long Beach and raised in on the border of Long Beach and Compton, oh. over there by the oil refineries in Southern California. Yeah, well, this would have been right at home down there. Yeah. In my teenage years, I moved to what they call the Inland Empire, like San Bernardino Riverside area. Yeah. I do a lot of charity work in uh, in, in Highland. So there's uh, that that one over there has the East Highland Ranch um, decal on it from one of the orange groves that used to be over there. I, in, in my high school days, uh, my friends used to think nothing of driving from Santa Barbara to L.A. Oh, yeah. Make a big circle through all of the hot rod shops, buying stuff, and uh -huh. coming home and... Yeah. Oh, well, we got to go by the drive-in over here. You know, uh -huh. and all the hot rods are in the drive-in. And... Yeah, well, out in the Riverside, where, I, where I, I, I do most of my playing around, they still have the, the drive-ins out there, and yeah, people I go hang out. Friends that lived in Rubido. Rubido, yes, yeah. that's where the drive-in is. Rubber ducks, as we called it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember when uh, there was a concrete plant down there and there was a huge mountain? Yeah. And they were drilling it and finally the mountain was all gone. They'd used it up. Oh, well, yeah, the concrete plant's still there. They just really? moved to the next mountain over. <laughs> now it's all flat and the other one's half gone still. The the people that I knew that lived down there mm -hmm. was in uh, like a duplex. Mm -hmm. And there was Hell's Angels in half of it and they lived in the other half. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the guy was... Uh, bigger than me he was good size but his wife was a little feisty gal about like this <laughs> and she got upset with him one day and she went out and poured carol syrup in the gas tank of all the harleys uh, so the next day they were all over to the side of the road about two miles from there when the engines froze from the <laughs> syrup in it you know oh they were unhappy oh yeah i can imagine She was bullshitting him, but she says, Annie Oakley was my aunt, and I do know how to shoot, so back <laughs> off. <laughs> well, good visiting with you. It's, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, Let me keep you. walking around. Appreciate it. Oh, maybe this is a good 40 or 41 Ford. Ford Deluxe Business Coupe. inspection. It's very thorough. They're checking everything.
short. Not too much to that try and do something that's going down hot. I think Here we have a vintage. Looks like a midget racer. It's a full size midget with a off motor. Treating it like an actual race car with a push. I think I might do some, I guess I have some computers. They're only allowing 40 cars to run, so it's going to be a very limited field. This is it's a 48 Ford. It's a lot of dirty, but <laughs> Looks great to me. I like them with the scrap makes it look low. <laughs> I like them with a little dust on them. Let's you know they dri they're driven. It's not bad for a car that I've done in 87. <laughs> and since 87. Pin striking is uh, 20. 28 years old, 97. Time flies. That was done by Kodak. I was jumping around with him and I dropped the car off. I said, my luck, Bob. I'll come back with flames on it. <laughs> and he did the flames. <laughs> One handed. Dodge heavy duty with the interior. Got these big reflectors on there.
So the plate says 35, but this looks like a 34 to me. A little transplant for the small block Chevy. Really clean two-tone interior with the banjo steering wheel. They have you running as modified or straight? Uh, well, well, this is, this is a weird here. Yeah. So it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have a stock class and they have a modified class and they have altered class. It's like speedster classes. Oh. And this is a speedster because it's a T-body on the A chassis. Working on the timing. We have uh, several cars set up to uh, is a McLaren Planet Can Am car. I don't have it's a, a McLaren chassis with a small block Chevy. For two days, but I uh, have a little early morning congestion, so you'll apologize for the uh, blanks in my uh, discussion. While we're waiting, we increase the, or uh, resume the memorial. We'd like to give a A memory of run motion. All right, so I changed stabilizers. For those of you that are uh, waiting around or eating or carousing, 32 Ford Tudor uh, with the Miller overhead conversion with Crossbow. If you're waiting for a time trial, that'll be about 12 months. We are flagging off. I got it through the Pony Express. Justin Martin turned uh, 10 11. This looks like it. Is this John? John Carbett? Model B block, a 
beached her body. He's got one of Steve Sir's Miller overhead valve engines. Old school race car driver just kind of jumped the gate. Here we go. It's like a stock Woody. They're making them put their helmets on now. People that run these organizations are Number so five. good. So good. A roadster pickup, a Model A uh, vintage. Yeah. Number five. <laughs> much, much nicer on the ears. Volunteer. <laughs> now, this is uh, Justin Martin. Several years ago, they had a lot more, driving. and they started to be converting
Robert and his wife... Uh Obispo County time and it's <laughs> And then when you just were right here, thirty nine. So we got Krager overhead valve conversion, with dual intake with custom exhaust. Channeled Model A 2829. Reach to the choir there. <laughs> nice little pinstripe. So we got an aluminum head over there. I love these old school hood straps. These accordion style springs on there. It's got a Riley dual intake. Looks like it's ready to run. It's got the lake style exhaust with the Thomas dual intake, dual carb, and some type of fanned aluminum intake manifold. I can't see a brand name on it. I've never seen one like that before. Juice brakes. I don't know what you, it's got a 32 grill. And it's got a shaved hood. And it looks like a 32 body. It's got that fiberglass top on it, that hard top makes me think it was a coopster but i don't know because it doesn't have windows in the doors but it's got that duval style window on it interesting uh rims this has got spoke knockoffs on his this is actually racing looks like a miller overhead cam conversion with a dual carb intake this is running a speedster class Oh, so this is an Overland, not even, not even a Ford, it's a, it's like a Willys. Here's a 56 Bel Air. Here's a early 40s Cadillac. Thank you. 
20 to 29 pickup. It's got a 34 grill on it, so that's not a 34 body. Looks like a T body. No, it's a Model A, 31 Model A body with a 32 grill. I don't know what this is. I want to say it's a 31 Model A as well. It's got a 32 grill on it. It's got some custom shape hood. Camden Street Shop, 34 3 window. Here's a SST. Here's a four door tutor. Speedster. Well, as we head home back down to Southern California, uh, here's some beautiful shots of the ocean. And I hope you enjoyed this um, nice trip up the coast to check out some cool cars, racing, and a beautiful setting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't done or so already, please go ahead and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And we'll keep making these videos of uh, crazy adventures. And then bring you some more footage of the nuts of stuff we're trying to do in our own shop. We are really looking forward to um, being more than just uh, captures of these events and participants of the events. But of course, we, it means we got to get some cars put together.